Jenny Reckett Place Boutique. So today I have what sold until noon. sold until noon people that had paid the day before things that were ready to go out and I'm here at the post office to drop them off brought my lunch with me <laughs> so I'm gonna go in and get rid of these packages I'll show you what I sold I'll try to show you how much I paid for them or where I got them from people are looking at me but that's okay Look at these adorable stamps. Aren't those so cute? Kitties and doggies. I had to say yes. Just too adorable. And hey, it might be kind of Valentine's-y, but who cares? I'll totally use these all year round because who doesn't love dogs and cats? Okay, so here's the book that sold for $6.20 and $5.50 shipping. So let's get that out and I'll show you what I do to ship that one out. Okay, and you can hear Susan barking because that is life. And so I stick these little thank you cards. And I have a video too for that. I stick it in here. I put a thank you sticker, wrap it up. And I'm going to put it in a poly bag. Okay, so I use these bags I got from Walmart. And these are great. They're about $3 and they're 100 bags. They work fabulously. I will wrap it in this plastic just to keep it extra secure in case there's rain. I'm so also buy like the bigger rolls. I have all different sizes, so. So I'll put this in here and I'll tape the end of it just in case it gets wet. So it'll be secure, but this is a really fabulous idea. It's super cheap just to secure those packages just in case something happens. Okay, so now I've got this in a plastic bag and I keep all of my Amazon bubble mailers. Now you can buy these too. We just order so many things, I keep them. I'll fold it up. I always make sure to tape the ends so it's nice and secure, and this is a great way to send out books if you have them. Okay, so this is what the book looks like, and I just made sure it's nice and tight in there so there's no like loose edges or anything. And um, tape it up really good. I'm going to stick my label on the front. I use, I use this Rolo printer, and this works really, really good. It's super easy, it's really, really quick. And then I just slap it on the front and it's ready to go. Thank you so much, Sadie. So something else that I do with these packages, if I can try to do this at the same time as I'm looking, I will mark this with a highlighter just to make sure that they scan this for tracking. It seems to work really well. They hardly ever miss tracking, so I thought I'd give you that little tip. Okay, here's a beautiful RM Riches by Karen Wong. Burnout Velvet Multicolor 2 for Top Jacket. Okay, so now this one sold for $20.76 all in. Thank you so much, Jane. I really wanted to keep this for myself. It was so pretty when I found it. It's absolutely beautiful. It's like a 2 for Top. It's attached. It's so pretty. I love the colors. But the problem is, I would probably never wear it. I don't really have anywhere to wear it. Doing eBay, I mean, I've usually just got a sweatshirt on. And leggings. <laughs> okay, so this one's going out. It'll probably go out first class, and I'll show you how I do that. So this one's all in plastic. It's got the sticker. It's got a little thank you card in there, and this is ready to go out. And I have these cute little poly mailers. Some of them are not so pretty, but this one is cute, so I'll use this one. Thank you, Jane. It's on its way. So something else I forgot to show you is I try to remember to write, like, thank you on the outside. Maybe if it's a man, I don't put a heart on it. <laughs> I don't want to be super strange or awkward, so I try to put, like, a thank you on it when I send it out. Sometimes I even, like, do little Christmas trees during Christmas or... You know, sometimes I'll put an Easter bunny or another sticker on it because I like to have fun. Okay, so here's a really pretty necklace, and I listed this as Victorian style rhinestone gunmetal purple flower elegant necklace lobster claw. 
Thank you so much, Marie. Now this is all in at 1703. I'll show you what I just kind of store these in here like this, um, especially like something that might get scratched up or something just to protect it. I'm going to ship it in a nicer package. And no, I did not test these. And recently, um, one of the things I've tested were diamonds. So, and I've been finding a lot of gemstones. So who knows if you test these, it might be real. Look how pretty that is. Let's see if I can zoom in. I know my countertop is really ugly. Look at how nice that is. So my husband helped me pull my eBay items. Last night I had a super bad headache. And he said, oh, I'm surprised you didn't keep this one because it's got birds and flowers on it. Is that a bird or is that just a flower? Looks like a flower. Could be like a hummingbird maybe. Hmm. It's super, super cute, so I hope you enjoy. That's really pretty. Okay, so I got these off Amazon, and I'll try to post a link for you on there. And I do sometimes receive a commission if you post, if you buy something through my link. So I would say it'd be a lot easier to buy like the jewelry boxes that look like this that have the lid. Um, I bought these because I thought they were cute one day. Um, Probably not my favorite thing to ship with, but I have them, so I'm going to try to use them. Um, the cardboard does protect it really well, so, and I probably will put it in a poly mailer because it's got rhinestones on it and stuff, just to keep it super safe. So I'm going to put it in here and then put it in a poly bag. These boxes came with this rope. I don't know. And the picture, I thought it was cuter than the actual <laughs> real life situation, maybe. So I'm just going to twine up and tie it like in a pretty bow, and then it will be ready to go. And I'm also going to stick it in plastic again. Actually, now that I think about it, I think this stuff came with a like pieces, and I thought they were just too small to actually fit around it. I might have actually bought in this separately at the craft store. But really, you can use like any kind of pretty twine or different colors or even like seasonal colors would be cool. Okay, so every package, every pretty jewelry needs some pretty Tiffany blue packaging. So this is all ready to go. And it's, so it weighs about two ounces. And I'm going to dupe it. So I'm going to bring that up to four ounces and... That's kind of how it works. Like if you have, if you're using eBay to ship, um, it kind of goes by certain increments. So for it works out, I do it at the max. Thank you, Marie. It's on its way. Okay, so here we have some Marisa's jeggings. Size medium stretch jeggings, skinny leg jeans are medium. And this one's sold for $17.99 all in. Thank you so much, Holly. These are super cute. And um, these were my daughter's, and she probably only wore them a couple times, if that, because my kids had uniforms. So they hardly wore like their regular clothes. So this is nice. I had a couple little snake flaws, which I did note in there. Okay, so this is under a pound. So if it's under like 15 ounces, I'm going to ship that um, first class. So that will be going out first class in a poly mailer. So I'll put this together and it will be on its way. Okay, so I just want to let you know, like, since it's over 12 ounces, I'm going to bump it up to 16 ounces. And that will make it a pound. It's the same amount with eBay if you have, like, the eBay discounts. So that works out good. I just always just kind of bump it up just in case, like, somebody scales a little differently or, like, mine is just misbehaving or something. You never know. You never know. I definitely don't want it to get there and have somebody have to, like pay for shipping you know that's never fun because in that case if I ever do have a package which I think it's only happened once where there wasn't enough postage not good so I just gave them their money back on shipping for all the inconvenience but I think that's only happened to me like one time so now I just make sure to bump it up as far as I could go before paying like the bigger amount which is 16 ounces if it's over 12. Okay, here's a really cute tank top. It's black and white. It's super pretty. Now, this one sold for $5.90. Normally, I don't go that low on clothing items. However, oh, look at the cute little ruching. That's cute. Black and white floral. 
I've had this listed for a super long time, plus it's a size small. So those items will take longer, usually take longer, and they're harder to sell the small items. So when I got an offer for $5.90, I was just really super happy and thankful for that. Thank you so much, Anna, for giving me that offer. I appreciate that, and I'm happy to send it out to you. And this one is all in at $12.72. Okay, so this one's coming in at five ounces, and I'm gonna bump it up to eight ounces, eight ounces, and that's ready to go. And I wrote my little thank you on the back. So here's some denim and company, and then I also put like the the number, which can be found over here probably on the back. So on the back of the QVC items on their clothing is a number. Definitely put that in your listings. I know I do myself. Um, search for that number. So this one sold all in. It's like a slim leg jean pant. I don't know if it's a jean or a pant. I guess I would consider this more like a 12. It could be a jean. It could be a pant. I would, I mean, they kind of look like a jean. I would wear these as a pant. These would be really great for work or something. So 23, 24 all in. And I'm going to ship this in a Tyvek envelope because these are free through USPS. And then I'm going to put it in a flat rate envelope and I'm just going to slide it on in there. And this is the cheapest way if it's over a pound to ship it if you can fit it in here. So this makes it really easy. Plus it's like Tyvek so it's waterproof. I've been doing this for over 20 years. It works great. Okay so this is all ready to go and this is what it looks like. I do kind of tape, put some tape on both sides like this. I've only had problems with that once. Um, I did read the rules years ago and it says that you can tape the edges whether, where it could open. So, I mean, I guess it happened once. It could happen again, but I doubt it really would. So, this is definitely the cheapest way. It slides in there really super easy and secure. So, this one is going out to Deborah, thank you so much Deborah. Okay, so here I have this really cool farming toy piece and it's like a die cast and this is a Dyersville, Iowa, the Etrel, Etrel <laughs> company. I have no idea, I'm totally getting that wrong, I'm sure, sorry. Um, farming wheel plow die cast toy red, and I put reed because it's not like in perfect condition. This came from a very, very old farmhouse, and they had a bunch of toys, and this happened to be one of them that I bought. Thank you so much, Karen, and this all-in was $78.98 with shipping. Okay, so with this one, I did not ask a lot for shipping, so I'm going to really try to get this under a pound and find a lightweight box just to throw this into and ship it out. So this is weighing 8 ounces, so I'm going to be on a hunt for the perfect box. Okay, so this is the box I'm going to use. It weighs a little over 5 ounces, and I put one together already. It does fit diagonally in there, and that's how I'm going to ship it. So with these, um, I'm always on the lookout for cheap shipping supplies. If I can get them new, the better. Sometimes I save my own, but I would rather just have them all stacked up neatly. And so this is what really works the best for me. And so I bought like a whole truckload of big, big pallets of these boxes, and it cost me $5. Um, so I found that at a local repo auction there was a store getting rid of their supplies, so that worked out for me. I'm just going to fill this with some tissue paper, it's pretty snug in there, and then I'm going to put an extra piece on the top, and that one will be all ready to go. Okay, so here's the piece on the top. You probably don't need an extra piece, but I just feel like it really finishes it off and looks really nice that way, so I just like to just put an extra piece on the top. Okay, and just another little tip that I do is I always try to tape it both ways, each way, just in case, you know, it's getting bumped around, it's not going to fly open. I'm also going to put tape around these edges because it's kind of a strange box. I don't know, it's more of a shoe box, but that's what I have and that's what works and it will keep it safe. So thank you so much, Karen. This one was all in at $78.98. Okay, and it's all ready. All nice and secure, and it's all taped up. Um, there was little, like, perforated holes here, and I taped those up too. 
And it also is in plastic, so it should be good to go. And this one, so it weighs 14 ounces, so I'm going to say 16 ounces, and it will just make first class. How awesome is that? At the car wash, yeah. Okay, I love this place, I have to say. This, this place is so awesome. Okay. It's so nice to go through, like, the express line. Tommy's, oh, I love this place. So this is a new one that just opened in town and I love it. Okay. And I have to do it in neutral at some point. Stop neutral. Okay. I try to get some exercise in every day. Hard sometimes in the winter. It's a really nice, beautiful day today. Not really any sun, but it's nice. I'll take 40 over 20 <laughs> or 10 any day. Here's the geese. They're all coming back. And then in the spring, they'll lay their eggs. It's pretty cool. 